Hi guys, my name is Tyrone Williams and I'm the director here at the Math Factory. Okay, good. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a basic introduction to the quadratic expressions and in fact show you a few neat tricks as how you you work with these expressions when come across them. Okay, now as it's stated here, this is a quadratic expression. Now in its general form, a quadratic expression uh, is, is written in this form and here I have it in this rectangular box it's ax squared plus bx plus c where a is the coefficient of x squared right so we can make some notes here some very important notes that a a represents a is the coefficient coefficient efficient of x squared okay and as we have learned in class or in previous lessons the coefficient means the number that is before the variable that is multiplying the variable okay and we have a b here so b b this b here is called the coefficient is the coefficient of the term in x okay and if you notice b is in front of x and c we call c now c is called c is called or c is the constant okay constant and as we would have learned before that a constant is a number that doesn't change okay c is called the constant and I'm going to put slash here and I'm going to put this in quotation because it is very important. It's also called the y-intercept. Okay, so these are some critical things that we need to know or properties or characteristics of a quadratic expression where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the number before x and c is the constant or the y-intercept. Now there are some neat little tricks about this quadratic expression that you need to know when working with them and I have some examples here because sometimes when we're in class students like to ask then sir why are we learning this and how does it relate to real life okay now if you notice here I have a an example so let's scroll down a little bit and let me bring up this example so in example number one if you know if you should notice carefully let me just pull this down a bit okay now in example number one if you should notice carefully that I have a wall here and in my wall I have three arcs okay and it's as if they are smiling these arc shape is as if they are smiling they they are looking like this okay they're look this is example number one and the arcs they're smiling they have that downward uh, kind of shape their mouth would have that downward shape then now good now what happened long time ago engineers mathematicians when they were trying to design these arcs these arcs were designed based upon the quadratic principle right because this is a quadratic shape right and as we have always said that math is in our real life okay so all we have to do is to look around now the beauty about this now is that if if and only if if a is positive as we have here in the first expression so let me make a note here if we have a positive a x squared plus b x plus c if a is positive then the graph will look like this it will have this shape and i can just do a rough sketch and i mean this is just a quick example so you don't have to beat up yourself if you're not clear if you're not clear when we reach a graph in when we are teaching the graph in aspect of it we'll go more deeper in the explanation okay so in this case if you're drawing this graph if you're sketching this graph if you're asked to sketch this graph and a is positive your graph should look like this okay should has should have that that smiley face so we say if a is positive it causes the graph to smile and or 
it would look like this as these arcs are in the wall here okay now another thing that we need to note that sometimes a is negative and I'll shift now to my second example and we'll move up to example number two okay so in example number two as we have here and let me change my color so this is example number two Oh, this is giving me a little bit of trouble. Okay, good. So in example number two, if A is negative, then it will cause our graph to have this frown. Okay, if you notice, these arcs are, are upside down. So again, when the engineering were de designing these, these um, arcs, uh, it took some knowledge of the quadratic function. Okay, so in this case, whenever the arcs are upside down a would have to be negative so i would have to have a negative a x square plus b x plus c okay and this graph would generally have a look like this so let's say then that this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis then my graph would have this general shape it would be it would have a frown like it's as if it's upset okay oh sorry i don't think i had labeled my axis here so this would be our x-axis and this is our y-axis okay so um that's just a typical introduction to the quadratics okay and what they what they look what they look like if a is positive then the graph will smile as you have seen here but if a is negative then the graph will frown it will be upset thank you if there are any questions you can always feel free to contact us and we'll respond to you as soon as possible bye